I'm Stefan and this is part two of oxygen related to the pond water. If you didn't see part one yet, uh, please click on the link uh, in the description so you first can see part one uh, and then this, this part makes more sense. In part one we discussed the, the general oxygen level in the pond and the use of oxygen by the filtration systems or better said by the bacteria. So we tested the, the trickle towers, the bucket showers, the, uh, the moving bed uh, uh, filter. And in this part, I want to test what happens with the ammonium level in the water when we uh, uh, drop the oxygen level with uh, one, one point um, and just for a short period, not, not for 24 hours, but just really short period, 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes to 30 minutes just to see if there is any difference. What I do is um, I, I test the water now. It's now 7.9 milligrams per liter at the moment by 23.3 degrees. And uh, yeah, I want to see uh, what happens. Normally total is 8 point by, by 23.3 should be 8.3 Three. So uh, this is 94% uh, of the uh, maximum dissolved uh, oxygen. What I do is test with this HANA meter, uh, uh, test the ammonium when aerated fully like this. I test the outcoming water of the filtration system. And then uh, I'm going to drop the, the oxygen by putting out the, 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 the air pumps leave the, the filter on, but only the, 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 the air pumps need to go out and then, uh, and then we're going to test again. And there should be, of course, a difference between the, the level now, the standard level now. So let's say this is 20 parts per million. There should be, uh, the coming out water should be a bit lower. Uh, if not, then the filtration system doesn't work. So I'm, I'm going to test that first, of course, and then uh, we'll see uh, what happens with the outcoming water in 30 minutes. This pond is 50, uh, 55,000 liters, uh, has at the moment 22, yeah, 22 koi, uh, with five koi around 70 centimeters, and the rest is uh, around 40, 45 centimeters. I feed this pond at the moment almost two kilo per day. So it's, it's really a lot of food going in. Uh, it's working great and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what, uh, what happens. I'm really curious. With this uh, HANA pocket meter, the, uh, the checker, um, you have to do, first do a blank test with just plain pond water and then you have to add uh, four drops of region A and four drops of region B and then you have to put the tube in again and then wait for three and a half minutes so the water can color and then the photospectrometer will come with the result. I'm really curious for this uh, result. O point one six parts per million. Uh, that is the result for now. So, and the second measurement is the the outlet of the uh, filtration system. Uh, of course, takes another three and a half minutes, and then we'll see the result. That is O point O nine. So O point O seven difference between 0.09 and 0.16. So the filter is working. So the, uh, the ammonium level uh, when uh, fully aerated the, was uh, 0.16 parts per million and uh, for the coming out, uh, coming out of the filter was 0.09 parts per million, so the filtration system works quite well. Um, 
And I'm now really curious what happens when, uh, yeah, when we put off the, the whole aeration system. Uh, the other filter is shut down. Only filter working now at the moment is the trickle tower. And uh, yeah, wait for a, a few minutes, 15 minutes, I think, to drop uh, to 6.8 milligrams per liter oxygen. And then, uh, and then test again. I'm really curious. Five minutes later, 6.9 milligram per liter uh, oxygen at the moment, uh, same temperature. We're gonna measure the, the pond water again uh, for the ammonia and, the, uh, and of course the outlet of the, the filter and see the results. Uh, pond water without aeration is result uh, 0 0.1. And then the battery of the mic went flat, so this is me by voiceover. Uh, the results of the uh, air, the, the pond without aeration is 0 0.10. That's a bit lower than the first results of the aerated uh, pond. But I can explain that. Uh, we're feeding the koi, uh, especially at night and in the early morning. And um, yeah the ammonia is always a bit higher in the morning. The pH level stays the same, um, so it's not, it's not the, the difference in pH where you all, of course also can get the difference in ammonia, but uh, this is especially uh, caused by the, yeah, the less food during the day. And taking this movie takes about half a day, so uh, and this is almost at the end of the, of the movie, so, um, yeah, it's a bit lower, but it doesn't matter because uh, we can see the results of the outlet of the filter system. And, uh, yeah, we can, we can see the difference between yeah, this measurement and, and the outlet. So, still uh, have results. Very curious. So 0 0.05 down. So that is uh, five points down. So so 0 point 0 point so 0 point 0 0.05. So that's five points down instead of with the aeration on. Uh, seven points uh, from 16 till 9, yeah, so seven points down. So with aeration on, the filtration sy system, the bacteria work better because they can burn their food, the waste of the koi, uh, they can burn it more easily. So it's really important to leave the aeration on always, day and night, and as much as you can, because then uh, the ammonia level is as low as possible and uh, yeah, the, the koi will be more healthy, grow faster, uh, yeah, stay, stay healthy and, uh, and it will look really good. Please comment on this uh, video, share it, like it and uh, uh, subscribe, put, uh, push the bell on so you get the next video as soon as uh, I, I upload it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.